All right, another review. Uh, again, this came from the uh, Junshan Tang, and this is another spectrum analyzer. So let's give this one a try. Uh, this one's a bit similar and a bit different from the last one uh, that we reviewed. And I'll put a link down below because the two units are very, very similar. And I'm going to skip a whole bunch of the review for this one because you can just go look at the other one and it's basically, it's basically the same as far as the um, functionality of the part, but not the user interface. The user interface is going to be on the touch screen here. Whereas the other one, you had to have a uh, external program to run it. Uh, so that's the big difference. What comes in the box is a little case, uh, a little stylus. We'll go ahead and use that. Comes with a charging cable and a uh, SMA cable. All right. So I'll just throw those in there. So the most interesting thing about this is it looks like a normal spectrum analyzer. It has a tracking generator, RF generator, uh, RF input. There's a place to charge it up, but there's no power button. There's no on off switch. And in fact, there's no batteries. So you have to have a, uh, a USB-C cable to actually turn the part on. Um, so that's different. <laughs> Um, and then uh, we can take a look at the menu system here. So let me rearrange the camera. All right, uh, so it comes up and uh, frequency, you set the start, stop, or center. Uh, amplitude, you can set the divisions or if it's relative or the, the units that you want. Um, you know, how many, 10 dB, 5 dB, we'll do, we'll do 10 dB. Units can be dBm, dV, microvolt, dV. Uh, Millivolt, interesting. Um, so yeah, dBm is what we want. Uh, you can set the span. We'll do full span. And full span is, let's see here, span full. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so full, and then when we exit, it'll go from, uh, well, it's a center frequency of two gigahertz, and it goes all the way up to 4.365 megahertz. So uh, it's quite, quite wide. It actually goes from 35 megahertz to 4.4 gigahertz. Um, and menu has tracking, tracking generator output. Uh, not quite sure what all these things are here. Network Cal. So you can zero. The network means that it's tracking generator mode, uh, like a S21, and you can calibrate that for a zero dBm and then uh, Spectrum Cal. Not sure what that one does. Okay. So there's different modes. The Spectrum Analyzer mode, Sweep mode, so a Sweep generator, a, a CW generator point, and the network, which is the S21, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, try this out with uh, Spectrum Analyzer first. I'll turn on my generator. And this is a 300 megahertz. Uh, it should look like that, okay? It should look that, that over there. 300, 600, 900, right? It's a 300 megahertz comb generator. And so let's see what it looks like over here, uh, which is the input uh, RF fence on the top. Okay, put it in on the top. And there we go. So uh, there is something here and here and here doesn't look great. Um, relative 5 dVm. So amplitude, we want divisions 10 dBm. Okay, this is 10 dBm. So yeah, it looks a bit strange, right? Definitely looks a bit strange. So let's make it the exact same as the uh, 
HP generator, which is a stop frequency of 1.8 gigahertz. One point, oops, clear. You have to always have to clear it. 1.8 gigahertz. All right. Uh, there we go. So go watch the other video. Like I said, I'll, I'll link it down below. Uh, go watch the other video because the, the, the type of data that you get out of this thing is going to be exactly the same. We can do a frequency start of, let's say, uh, 290, clear. I guess I have to hit clear first. 290, and we'll do a stop of 310 megahertz and there you go and it's it's got that little dip in it also so again a lot of the details are in the other video but it it, it has this weird center dip on all of the things and it has very very poor uh, bandwidth resolution it has about a one megahertz bandwidth resolution um, and I'll insert a couple pictures here of measurements that I've made um, then we can go to uh, the sweep and outputs and stuff are going to be the same as the other one. I did get the network to work on this one, though. On the other one, I did never got the S21 to work. I didn't, the software was confusing me. But on this one, I was able to uh, sweep a filter. So here's a, a bandpass filter that I'll sweep. And uh, so you connect it between the two ports and then and sweep it. So uh, here is a a sweep of the filter using my uh, my VNA and giving you a true uh, S21 measurement of it. And then we can compare it to the measurement that um, this particular uh, machine gives. So, you know, they're comparable. Um, not great, but, you know, comparable. Seems fine. Um, so, do I recommend this one? Yeah, probably not. Like I say, it has such a poor resolution bandwidth that uh, um, it's not great for a lot of things. But um, it is nice having the, the on on screen. Um, it will allow you to sweep some filters. It does go up to 4.4 gigahertz, which is kind of nice. It's on, on the high end. So, um, but. Uh, I think there are probably better options. I don't know what the price of these things are, but uh, um, probably one of the um, the uh, nano VNAs um, that go up to 4.4 gigahertz is going to be a much better option than, than this one will be.